Um, we talked before about uh, going in and removing animals from sanctuaries. Based on what you know of Ohio, are there enough sanctuaries, zoos, and other types of space to take in the animals that are confiscated under this? Well, as, as a, a, a person that goes around and, and inspects facilities to be accredited, because we accredit facilities too, and keep in mind the word accredited holds no water with the government. It holds no water with any other organization in the world. It just means that you have paid your price, you have kissed enough butt, you have rubbed enough elbows to get into the country club of whatever organization it is. Okay? I can name you three facilities here in Ohio that need closed down before someone else dies. And these would be sanctuaries? This would be sanctuaries. Could... Uh, could could the network of sanctuaries in Ohio now absorb the animals that would be yeah. confiscated? You, you do not have enough sanctuaries in Ohio to absorb just Ohio sanctuaries. You do not have enough sanctuaries in Ohio to absorb the sanctuaries that need to be closed down. There is not enough sanctuaries throughout this country to keep taking in animals that states want to ban on a panic. If, if you take right now two tigers or four monkeys and you want to send them to a sanctuary within the United States, to a, a, a mountain lion and a tiger left Ohio several weeks ago. And you know how much they made on that? They made $30,000 scamming the public that they needed 30000 bucks to transfer them from Ohio to Minnesota that I could have did for 600 bucks or less. Oh, wow. Okay? Uh, it, it's a scam. Uh, the, the animals that are in the private sector in Ohio are not going to kill the general public. You do not have chimpanzees as pets in somebody's yard right now. You have very few tigers that are pets. Okay, you have more tigers in Ohio enclosed to the public sanctuaries that are in a dangerous risk right now than you ever thought of private owners. And how they get away with that is that they stay close to the public. And that's why Florida and, and Oklahoma passed their laws that if you are a sanctuary, you're going to be open to the public so every person that comes through there with a camera can complain about the way you're taking care of those animals. And you will see a whole lot better sanctuaries. I'm trying to understand your comments about the Zanesville situation. Are you saying you don't believe he committed uh, suicide? I'm saying I believe that it was a setup to further this agenda. Yeah. There's no way that man could have ever let all those animals out of there by cutting his cages apart with bolt cutters and got out of there alive, let alone have time to do with all of the autopsy and police report said he did it. Yep. And that's coming from a man with 170 tigers. So somebody killed him so the state I, could move forward with this I, kind of law? Believe, Is that? I believe Terry Thompson was murdered to further this agenda. Yes. And if you look at the handouts I gave you, it has this specific agenda that you all are falling into was put into action in 2006. And that agenda comes straight out of the office of the largest financial backer right now that's profiting $1.5 million from this whole little conspiracy. Do you have any theories as to who would be behind the murder that did take place? Well, we have, we have a theory that some of our people within our organization was there in January of 2011 trying to remove animals and it was stopped Stop by, by the law enforcement and the fish and wildlife of this state. So I think we're looking at a much larger conspiracy than we think we are. <laughs> yeah. Could you explain your standing at, to go in and take animals there? Were you okay. called in in some respect? We were we were asked to come in by neighbors and at, at the night that we had people there, the police were called, people were arrested for being drunk underage, and we were there to offer law enforcement help because the law enforcement had fully capable 
charges of being able to confiscate those animals that night. But they didn't do that. So they, they refused to because they said they were not a public threat. They were well cared for. So we left. And the, the statements of, you know, the press statements, the statements in writing that Terry Thompson was a thorn in their life, you know, for so many years. In fact, they had a perfect out in January of 2011. Mm -hmm. And they refused to accept it. I'm sorry, did you say you were there in 2000? Some of our board members were there. Okay. I was actually on the road with two teams and two vehicles from Oklahoma to help load and, and transport animals, but we were turned around because they, they denied the help. And that would have been like 10 months before this incident happened? Yes. While Terry was still in prison. How many members do you have? I'm more concerned about.